Hey guys, been here. Um, previously we did this parametric bifold shade panel, and we u we used a formula to control the number of these buttons. And today I'm going to explain a little bit more about how we um, get get the, the work out this uh, formula. Okay, so let's start first. Uh, I'm going to create a generic model, and this will be um, one of the pattern. Okay, so create two reference plane dimension equal another dimension. So create a width parameter. I'll call it W1. And okay, so now I'll create a extrusion. And I'll just lock this to um, edge onto the reference plane. Okay, so that's that's it. That's one of because I'm only going to show you the width, so I'm not going to do any depths or length. So for example, 200, 300. Yeah. So that's the one. And then we are going to create a new generic model. Once again, place to reference plan di equal di, and this. So imagine this is a panel, and with multiple patterns. So this will be the overall width. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. Um. Yeah, let's call it width and instance and OK. OK, so now let's load this one into the panel family. So I'm going to just place it here. OK, and uh, doesn't matter. So the vertical um, location, because uh, I'm only going to show you the horizontal. OK, so AL, pick this reference plan and pick this edge and lock. Okay, so then select this one, select this um, family, family 10, the pattern, AR, array, AR, last. Okay, make sure it's last and then select it and just place it here and click. And so now AL again, along. Align, click on the reference plan, and click on this family and lock. So now, if you so for example, if we drag this uh, reference plan, so you will see these two buttons will follow the reference plan. The same if we want, if we change this number, so change the width, or you can go here to do it this way. Okay. And you can move. You can use your keyboard as well. So um, now select one of the group. So one of the button, and uh, actually, I'll just drag this away so you will see this this array. So click on it, so you will be able to add a parameter for the number of the array. So let's call it number instance and OK. So now, without the formula, you will be able to manually change the number of this uh, family. Okay. So, but um, because we decided to um, let Revit to control the number, so we ju we just need to tell Revit oh, uh, what this maximum spacing to be. So, so we're going to create a new length parameter, I'll call it spacing S, I'll call it SP, okay, so instance, no K. So um, I'll type in 300 for now. And then we're going to, um, I'll just, please ignore this. I'll just do a quick sketch. So now we have this, oh, I, I forgot. So let's go click on this group, this button, edit group, and click on this family again. 
go to edit, edit type. So previously we, we create this W1 in that family. So we are just going to associate this family parameter. So we'll create another family uh, a parameter in this panel family so we can control it. So I'll call it W1 as well, but this time I'm going to use instance and OK and OK. So and finish this group. So if I click edit, oh sorry, family types, so you will see this W1 here. So if you change the, so for example, 400, so you will see all these family become 400 wide. And OK. So now let's go to this screen, uh, screenshot. And then we this one, W1, this is SP, right? So the formula, so actually there are two, uh, two, two methods, two formula for this one. So the first one is, so if you imagine this is group one group, and this is another one, and this is another one, and this is another one. So with minus, so with, which is the overall width, minus this W1, and then what we have is this one. Okay, so and then divide by W1 plus SP. W1 plus SP equals the number of, so here we can just count one, two, three, four. So we get a number, we get a number, okay? But this number will be one less than the actual um, array number. Yeah, so which means if I, so, so if this is array number, if this is array number equals this formula plus one. Okay, so this is the first formula, so we can use. And another one is instead of minus W1, instead of with minus W1, we can use with plus plus SP. Okay, plus SP. So this is the spacing SP. So which means we, we will have one more. So with plus SP, still divide by W1 plus SP will be exactly the same as this um, array number. So equals this number. So you don't, you no longer need to add one. So if you use this formula, so that's the number. And let's try this. Okay, so first I'm going to use the, this formula minus W1. So go family types here, bracket with minus, minus W1, bracket divided by bracket W1 plus SP, bracket. So, oh, sorry, I forgot, plus one. And now, if I apply, um, actually I'm not sure if this is correct or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a dimension here. Okay, so this dimension should tell me what the actual spacing is. So if SP is the maximum spacing, um, what I'm expecting is if I'm if I drag this, if I change the width, I won't. Um, I will not see this dimension to be uh, larger than 300. Okay, so, okay, if I move this to the right, move this to the right, so you will see this go up. So it, it actually goes bigger than 300. So we need to figure out what's happening here. So actually he, here, because this one, if, if I select this one in the edit, you will see this is the integer. So because we create this formula, or this, we create this uh, parameter from a array number. Array number is always an integer. But let's create a new one. I'm going, so this is the number, 
I'm going to create just only to show you what happening here. So um, I'll call it number two. This time, instead of integer, I'm going to use number. Okay, instance and OK. And I'll just copy this formula and place it here. So and here you, you can see this is actually five points uh, more than. So um, that probably explains why this is 310. So maybe what we can do is we can just add a roundup. So make this number go up. So one, so we will have more, one more button. So which means the spacing will come down. It won't go up then more than 300. So I'll just round up bracket and bracket so it will go automatically go up to six so if i click click apply so you will see and and okay so now let's try again so i'll select this reference plan keyboard left so you see to 290 295 300 and if i click on the right direction once more it go down so this is exactly what we need okay so that's it so we no longer need this one i'll just delete this one so now formula two so actually they are exactly the same so if i just instead of minus w1 i'll plus s pay and get rid of this plus one they are exactly the same so so see right 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 okay so that's it so this is the formula this is how um, we work out the formula so is it clear um, okay so that's it if you have any question please let me know um, I'll see you next time thank you bye